Good day. I'm J D Yuan. Welcome to DNAmazing.com. Let's learn the steps to start a DNA pattern testing. If you're new to pattern testing, it's normal that you're feeling troubled, anxious, or distressed when uncertainties happen on us, such as someone claiming to be your child. It's a shock when all of a sudden you become a father or mother to a child, and all you're adopted and you're the quest of searching your biological parents in order to find the missing pieces of the puzzle or you're in a court case in the middle of seeking legal responsibility for the child. Before making the first move, you must know how to begin with paternity testing. Which DNA testing center to choose? If you do a Google search about DNA testing, there are tons of DNA testing names appear on the screen or on your monitor. In the end, you need to decide one DNA testing center. Then you should know how does a pattern test work. You don't have to know every single pattern test procedures from A to Z, but you need to know to educate yourself briefly about the procedures involved in order to avoid unnecessary conflicts between you and your DNA consultant. Since DNA testing is a very competitive market, decision making is important to choose suitable DNA testing center. Well, it takes less trouble to decide which DNA testing center to choose if you follow the right steps. I would like to suggest some simple steps to start a DNA paternity test. Preliminarily, you can do a survey by making inquiries to various DNA testing centers. Just do a Google search on a keyword DNA testing or pattern testing and make a short list of different DNA testing centers. You can make it up to 5 or 10 DNA testing centers or as many as you want. Please remember one thing, the more survey you do, the more information you discover no harm to find more. After making the list, you will call every DNA testing center and ask necessary or related questions. You'll be directed to a DNA consultant. That's the moment to f ask related doubts about the pattern testing procedures. This is the moment you value the testing center based on good quality customer care service, which as a bit professionalism and it gives a good impression such as courteous and kindness values. Make sure that the DNA testing center you choose must have AABB accreditation and ISO or IAC 17025 standard because it reflects their high reputation and quality service. Just limit them if you found out them uh, those DNA testing labs that don't have this accreditation. While you're designing which DNA testing center to choose, a good DNA testing center view lies with you with a professional DNA consultant. A good DNA consultant will comprehensively explain every single detail about the paternity test procedures. Please be noted that most of the DNA testing involves painless test procedures. A professional-driven DNA testing center must have high confidentiality in handling customers' privacy and DNA results. When you are surveying for prices, many DNA testing centers provide lower-cost test procedures. Therefore, many DNA testing centers offer affordable and low-price panel testings, and not just that most of the DNA testing centers able to produce fast results. That means you can obtain your paternity results in very short time, averagely up to five operating days. In some DNA testing centers, it can be done within one to three days due to competition. How does the paternity test work? That's a commonly asked question among biology or non-biology students. Firstly, you're required to do buccal swabbing to obtain DNA samples from your and the child's saliva. And it's inconveniently 
uh, to use uh, buckle uh, swapping you can also use hair samples okay, you might get it from a child's pillow some of the DNA testing centers provide free DNA testing kits uh, which include cotton bud like thing for buckle swabbing or a toothbrush like equipment for saliva samples right. briefly this is how you get patented test results firstly you collect DNA samples from saliva or hair samples that you've done earlier and then DNA collection will be sent for analysis in DNA testing lab and then if we undergo DNA profiling that's how we get our DNA profile, or we call it DNA fingerprint. Uh, basically, there are two types of DNA paternity testing. One is based on Y chromosomal DNA, while the other one should be uh, mitochondrial DNA. Now what's that? Y chromosomal DNA, it's a DNA test based on male sex chromosome as it used in pattern testing which determines father and son relationship in, in other words uh, uh, it determines whether a man could be a biological father or child okay, since the chromosomal since the Y chromosomal DNA is only passed down from father to son so it's, we usually do that in the pattern testing so the other test the other test which is mitochondrial DNA which is a DNA testing method to determine a woman that could be the biological mother of a child from the circular DNA in mitochondrial right? for your information mitochondrial is a small structure or organelle in our cells that help uh, of cells or body to produce energy in order to have work done the circular DNA is based Excuse me, the, the circular DNA is passed by the mother to both male and female offspring, which practically contains the same mitochondrial DNA material as their mother. So it's much lower use in methods testing. Right. Let's cut the chase. What's DNA profiling? Right. Each DNA profile its own patterns. That means that analyzing of DNA samples requires matching between two DNA patterns which is between the child and the assumed parent it's a simple concept even a three years old uh, can play this game right? let's uh, play a single game of DNA matching so here based on the diagram of several DNA profiles from the child and then it would match against four possible uh, father here and taken from four um, four male DNA from John, Anthony, Richard and Robin. Which of these DNA profile from John to Robin here matches the kids DNA profile. Can you guess it? It's, it's easy. So we can find out that the child here it matches Richard's DNA. Okay. From normally, it's uh, you can find it in a Y chromosomal DNA test since you test uh, against only male DNA, and child should be the son, of course. So Richard. We're grateful to tell you that you're the father of the child. Mm -hmm. DNA testing is proven with accurate and valuable results. It is 99.99% accuracy. You have to be brief enough to bear any consequences when you get the pattern test results done. If a positive result, be a responsible parent. Action speaks louder than words. If you understand those steps I suggested earlier, just log on to this website www.dnatesting.com which is highly recommended for pattern testing you can find all sorts of information regarding pattern testing and also ancestral origins testing start ordering
your DNA test kit and get your DNA test done as soon as possible. Please log on to DNAamazing.com for more information about DNA testing. Thank you for your time and goodbye.